Hello Windows developers. This video is the second in a short series demonstrating the ease with which the four libraries needed for the production of any crypto currency daemon program may be created using Microsoft C++ on any Visual Studio. The second library we will build is the Boost library at boost.org. We could go here to users history, choose 1.53, download the zip file, find the good instructions on Visual Studio 2005, helping us build the library, and also information on building library on other architectures, but instead from boost.org if we pick the download link which gets us to here and here we pick the pre-built Windows binaries link which gets us to a different place on SourceForge and we choose the 1.53 version here we get to a page on SourceForge that has all the Visual Studio packages pre-built for 32-bit or 64-bit Microsoft Windows. We'll download the 1.53 Visual Studio 2005 version when we do that, it looks like this. I also downloaded the other ones too, just for future use. All one does is run it and choose a directory to plant it. Suppose this one. And 30 minutes after you say run, that's how long it takes on my machine, you get all the header files and the library files for any possible combination of compiling you might want to do. Dynamic link libraries, static link libraries, debug or release. And so that's all there is to it. It's all done. And to just show this version of Bitcoin is going to use that library to compile and link a new version of Bitcoin. And that's the end of this second video.